my name is Benoît Envoisé. I'm French. I'm postdoc here uh, in the laboratory of Dr. Craig Baxton. I'm from France, Paris, and I did my PhD at the University of Paris. So I'm working on neurodegenerative disorders and I'm using a more specific model, the hereditary spastic paraplegias. We don't know anything about, or very few things about, the protein and all the proteins involved in the disease that I'm working on. And it's, wow, how working? Uh, what uh, will be the therapy to, to um, save the cells and save the patients? The hereditary spastic paraplegias are a very large uh, group of disorders characterized by the degeneration of the longest motor neurons. The motor neurons allow you to walking, to dance, to move in. And if you have um, the motor neurons are affected, you are not able to do anything like this. I'm studying um, some protein and the um, interaction between this protein and why one of this protein, when it's affected, induce the cell death. When I was a kid, I just wanted to be a magician or physician. And in fact, science is a, the best compromise between both. So I just go to school and went to medical school. And there I follow my first um, course of cell, on cell, of cell biology. And I touch uh, my first microscope. And I fall in love with microscope and cells. All your body come from the cells. You are as you, as you are because of the cells. There are so many different types. Um, some move in, um, migrate, fight with virus, with bacteria, um, create memories. It's so amazing. And morphology of the cells, it's a mysterious why, how it works. We know the different activity of the brain, the different part of the brain, but how exactly it's working um, at the cellular level, at the molecular level, nobody knows. It's still the black box of the human being, and that's very exciting. I don't have any typical day, every day is really different. And the first thing that I'm doing in the morning is analyzing the, the data that I get the day before. And in the afternoon, I plan all the experiments, so it depends the day. Um, that will be cell culture, um, microscopy, or um, taking care of the mouse. I test their behavior, but I also make dissections, uh, extract different tissue, mostly the brain, um, to do um, staining of section, brain sections, um, but also biochemistry. And the other part is mostly with the microscope to check um, the structure of the tissues, um, the behavior of the cells, the structure of the cells, and the morphology. I think all my teacher in uh, life science, and in particular cell biology, influenced me. But with my career, and especially during my PhD study, I was uh, very influenced by um, my previous PI, um, Lucio Benedetti. Lucio um, just stimulated me to to go deeper and to um, um, learn more about cells and um, play with them and um, take the best picture on the best angle. He worked with cells like, like they were a model. If, like you take a picture of a top model, he did the same thing with the cells. And it's amazing. BNH is an amazing place you can find um, people from different cultures with a different background, with a different, in different discipline. And all these people work together, collaborate together, talk together. And that makes more exciting to work in science, more exciting to exchange ideas, to exchange um, new technology, new way to think, new point of view. Every day, science is a challenge for different reasons, educational, personal, but it's because it's a challenge that you move on and you can do good science. You have just to breathe science, think science, drink science. Um, science is your wife, it's your uh, boyfriend, it's, uh, I don't know, your mother. It's like a passion. And if, if you have 
if you have the uh, passion, I mean, it doesn't matter if you are good or not or technically better, whatever. You will give everything that you have and you will be the best scientist ever.